I'm Dr. Jason Frenasiak, attending physician at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I grew up in Chesapeake, Virginia, uh, and spent most of my time kind of in Virginia and in North Carolina. Started my undergraduate career at the College of William and Mary. It was a liberal arts college and it gave me a really wonderful and broad experience focusing on biology and biochemistry, which is my first passion, but really was able to see a huge expanse in terms of the depth and breadth of learning that exists. I moved on to the uh, University of Virginia for medical school where I really focused on uh, the utmost of clinical care and humanism in medicine. And they were very focused upon that there. Very grateful for that experience before then going on to the University of North Carolina where I did my residency in obstetrics and gynecology uh, and then moved on to subspecialty training in reproductive endocrinology and fertility at Rutgers and, Repro and Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. One of my really you know, biggest influences when it came to coming into medicine was my family. Uh, my family is uh, all of them actually in the medical field. Uh, my father was an OBGYN. My mother was a labor and delivery nurse. So I had both of them who would share their experiences about uh, medicine and not only medicine, but really women's health care and, and uh, reproductive medicine. Uh, you know, in the operating room, one of the things that I like to listen to is Baroque music, and I know that it's a little bit of an odd choice, and believe me, the scrub techs and the nurses in there and the residents I work with sometimes think so too. Uh, but it's something that energizes me and relaxes me, and it makes the experience really enjoyable. Can you help me? Am I going to be able to build a family? We've been trying for so long, we've, we've lost hope. Is this, a, is this a possibility? And in some ways, again, that question comes in many forms. It's the best type of question working here because, quite frankly, the answer to that question in almost all circumstances is yes, we can help you. We have the ability, we have technology, and, and we can help you realize that dream. Unfortunately, time is the enemy when it comes to infertility. The longer you wait, the less the chances are. We can be very, very successful as long as we start early. So if you've been trying at home for six to 12 months, probably a time to begin thinking about discussing options, discussing why this isn't working, and hopefully being able to expedite that dream of building that family. Patients really need to think about a number of things when considering what practice with which to pursue their infertility care with, because it's a very important question. Your fertility team uh, and the embryology lab and the technology that is there are all important factors. The things to really focus in on when you're a patient trying to determine who to see is take home baby rate, delivery rate, pregnancy rate. That is the ultimate goal in the pregnancy. You wanna have a happy, healthy, singleton delivery. That's the ultimate goal, that's the pinnacle in reproductive medicine. And then it's important to also know and get, a close to, get close to your doctor and your nurse. And I think that that personal touch is really important, making sure that the practice accommodates your needs. Are you able to get in and see them when you need to in the mornings before you get off to work? Or are you having to come in at all hours of the day, take time off of work, having this be disruptive? When it comes to infertility care, it is important to have what we would consider a 360 degree care paradigm, right? So you want to not take care of just the science, just the pathology that is causing the infertility. Infertility causes a lot of issues that are far and beyond what you might just read in a textbook. One of the components that I believe is of the utmost importance and, and maybe most critical in the whole process is something that people really don't see very much and that's the IVF laboratory. And it's very, very important that the IVF laboratory is uh, utilizing cutting edge technology, has well-trained staff that are used to taking care of uh, a number of patients so that they have that continuity and they have that volume. That's an important thing in order to optimizing care in the IVF laboratory. So, you know, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey has been a leader of care and infertility for patients all over New Jersey. But one area that we haven't really been able to focus on until now has been the South Jersey area, in particular, opening up our office in Marlton and offer something different. We're gonna offer something unique. We're gonna be able to offer the Reproductive Medicine Associates science, our innovation. Uh, we're gonna be able to focus on that 360 degree care of patients. Infertility is something that actually I've dealt with with some of my very close family members. And so I've seen this process. I have seen my flesh and blood go through this. And I've understood on a day in and day out basis not just when they're sitting across from the doctor, but when they're at home, they're talking to me about what they're going through. 
I've seen the challenges that people face when they go through this. And what I would hope patients come away from when they talk with me is that he got me. He gets what we're going through. And I hope that after we're able to talk about some of the other science and technology that not only did he get me, but I think he can help. I think he's going to get us there.